In this video, we are going to see what is meant by the critical field resistance and critical speed of a DC shunt generator. We will get this critical field resistance and critical speed from the open circuit characteristics that is the no load characteristics. Okay, for this purpose we can use this characteristics. We can use this experimental setups. Okay. Here you can see the field windings F1, F2 which is excited from the generator itself and current flowing through this field winding can control by using this variable rheostat and the current IF can measure by using this ammeter which is connected in series with this field and this armature or the generator and the corresponding voltage for each values of IF field current you can measure the terminal voltage by using this voltmeter okay the open circuit characteristics you will get the open circuit characteristics by using the relationship between E0 and IF E0 is nothing but the no load generator generated EMF or no load induced EMF and IF is the field current if you increase your field current by using the rheostat in each steps you will get a particular value of IF and the corresponding voltage okay from that table you can use this open circuit you can draw this open circuit characteristics here ABP is my open circuit characteristics if the field current is zero then what will be the voltage it will not be zero but there will be some voltage in that generator due to residual magnetism okay even if the field current is zero the voltage inside the generator will not be zero but it will be some there will be some value that may be uh, zero to five percentage or zero to five volt or less than ten volt okay OA will represent the voltage due to residual magnetism. Okay, when you increase my field current from this 0 to a particular value, then the voltage will also increase and you will get this open circuit characteristics. Already we studied this open circuit characteristics. So, here we know that at the point P, that is the maximum. That is the point at, at which the generator can build up maximum voltage and you can see many lines here right R1, R2, R3 and R4 and these lines will represent the resistance field line okay O R2 or simply you can say that R2 is the shunt field resistance line. Why? Because at this resistance, the generator can build up maximum voltage. That is E max. We know that after the point P, the generator will be saturated. Means the poles will get saturated and the generator will gen induce a constant voltage after the point p okay so my shunt field resistance line will pass us from zero to this point p after the point p the induced voltage will be constant okay so i can draw this line and I can represent here the point as E max. So my resistance field line, shunt field resistance field, uh, shunt field resistance line will pass us through this point P O P or simply R2 will represent my shunt field resistance line. Okay. What will happen if I increase my shunt field resistance? then the position of R2 will just 
shift to this point means if I increase the value of shunt field resistance then the slope will also increase so I can say that the position of this R2 will just shift it to this R3 and what will happen if I again increase my shunt field resistance then the position of R3 will again shift to this point R4 and if I again increase my uh, shunt field resistance then the position of shunt field resistance line will again shift it to left of this point R4 okay and this will continuously this will be a continuous process okay what will happen if I decrease my resistance then the slope will also decrease and the position of this shunt field line R2 will just shift it to R1 and the graph will again going on like this and no use if I decrease my resistance value then no use for that the graph will not touch the open circuit characteristics this point you know that AP AP okay AP is my operating points of my generator and P will be the maximum P will be the point at which the generator can build the maximum voltage okay so at a particular value if I increase my shunt field resistance then the resistance line will shift from here to here and here to here and something like that going on and at a particular point my shunt field resistance line just touch my OCC at the point K you can see here my shunt field resistance line just touch this OCC or I can say that at a particular value of shunt field resistance my shunt field resistance line will become a tangent for my OCC at a particular speed okay is it clear at a particular value of shunt field resistance my shunt field resistance line will become a tangent to this OCC at the point K or I can say that if I increase my shunt field resistance then at a particular value of resistance my line will just touch my OCC and I can say that it is the maximum value of shunt field resistance that is required to build up voltage okay you can see that the line R4 it will not able to generate necessary voltage in my generator they are not able so we know that at the point K my generator will generate minimum voltage that is E minimum okay due to this shunt field resistance okay so that if I increase from this point to this point it is increasing so I can say that critical field resistance is the resistance or it is the maximum value of shunt field resistance at which a generator can build up voltage okay normally the shunt field resistance of the DC shunt generator is kept lower than the critical field resistance okay the resistance must be always lower than the critical field resistance okay and beyond this point beyond this point the generator will not build up voltage okay I think it is clear for you this is the main fact about the critical field resistance okay critical field resistance is my shunt field resistance and it is the maximum value of shunt field resistance that is required to build up voltage for a DC shunt generator okay here the line OR3 or simply R3 or RC will represent the critical field resistance line okay 
next we can think about critical speed of this particular dc generator okay in this graph you can see different occs okay for different speeds here you can see my up and circuit characteristics at a speed n1 here it is the up and circuit characteristics for a speed n2 and here it is for n3 and here you can see the up and circuit characteristics for speed n4 okay and you can see my shunt field resistance line rsh here at the point p okay it is very clear that okay uh, okay and one more thing is that and p is the point at which the generator can generate maximum voltage okay you can see that if i decrease my speed what will happen occ will be like this we know that if i just decrease my speed of uh, the speed of my generator then the occ will be like this n3 if i again decrease the speed then speed will be n2 and if i again decrease my speed then it will become like n1 so it is going on and the point is that at a particular speed my shunt field resistance will become tangent to this occ okay and that speed is known as critical speed i can represent here it as nc okay nc or critical speed is nothing but the speed at which my shunt field resistance line will become tangent to the occ that is critical speed and one more thing is that it is at this critical speed my generator will generate minimum emf that is e minimum okay is it clear so it is very clear that the speed of my generator must be always above the critical speed then only my generator can build up maximum voltage and below which it is not possible because at the critical speed res at the critical speed line my resistance shunt field resistance just touch here okay so i can say that critical speed is nothing but at it is the speed at which my shunt field resistance will just touch my open circuit characteristics all right or i can say that the critical speed is the minimum speed required to build up voltage for a generator okay em and from these details it is very clear that a shunt for a shunt generator the critical field resistance must be always a particular value and the shunt field resistance must be always less than the critical field resistance okay the shunt field resistance must be always less than the critical field resistance and the machine must run above the critical speed then only the generator can build up its own maximum voltage with a rise in this field current okay these are the two important points about critical 
about the shunt generator that is critical field resistance and critical speed okay thank you